face everyone and welcome back to another Bouch episode. Thanks for tuning in once again. In one of my latest videos, Inspiration for your back roads, I talked you through an endless number of possible variations of a simple back roll. I told you guys about the idea of only two existing rotations, a back roll and a front roll, and every single trick is based on those two rotations. In today's video, I would like to inspire you with front rolls. I bet most of you guys are already able to do a front roll. And once again, on a simple front roll, there is an endless number of possible variations existing. After the intro, I will talk you through my favorite variants of a simple front roll. Let's jump straight into it. The most easiest way to book progress on a simple front roll are grabs. I really recommend to work on all kinds of different grabs on your front roll. This really teaches you a lot about the rotation. Like for example a cray grab, a tail grab and a stalefish grab are completely different in the execution of a front roll. And it helps a lot to understand a front roll way better and it makes your front roll way more stylish. The second step is to understand and to learn double rotations or even triple rotations. In my personal opinion, it doesn't really look better if you do more rotations in one jump. I always prefer like two or maximum three rotations. Instead of spinning too much, I recommend to learn how to grab them, how to invert maybe the second or maybe the first rotation. If you really understand double rotations, this will open up lots of new tricks for you. And last but not least are one-footers and board-offs. This is changing the whole dynamic of the trick a lot. And it's possible with all kinds of different rotations, with double rotations, single rotations, back row, front rolls. You can land it to toe side, you can land it once again to blind. And uh, yeah, I think it adds a lot to the trick. It can be performed in tons of different ways. A one footer, for example, can be a tail grab taking out the back foot, or can be a cray grab taking out the front foot or whatever. A board off, you can grab the board on the tail, which makes it way harder to enter it after, or you can grab it on the grab handle. You can spin the board. So there, once again, is an endless number of possible variations.
That's it. Basically, at the end, I want to say it's good to know that you don't need to reach all this kind of tricks at the same time. It's kind of a process. You start with the lower tricks and as long you, as you keep trying and as long as you learn and as long as you try out new stuff, you'll get better and better and better. You start maybe with a cray grab and then you end like in a double rotation with a board off or whatever. It doesn't need to be all at the same time. The most important key element is having fun over here. If you're trying grabs, try to grab as long as possible. Try to really work out the grab with your whole body so that it, that it really looks like you're grabbing the board. Everybody sees where you grab the board, how you grab the board. If you do a one foot, if you do a board off, try to straight out the legs, try to tense your whole body to make it look way more stylish and way more controlled. Yes, and as well, really important, learn those tricks to both directions. It adds a lot to your overall riding skill, actually. That's it. Please hit the like button below, subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment if you have any questions. And yes, I hope to see you soon for my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.